let's talk about scales in jazz. Scales are the building blocks along with chords that all jazz players use. And there are three pretty popular ways that people look at scales. Let's look at each one. And when we're finished, you decide which way works best for you. Everyone comes at this information a little differently. So let me see if I have this right. All right. Uh, first, uh, this is a scale syllabus from the um, from this here. This is a great resource. I keep talking about this. This is the uh, Jamie Abrams old handbook. Great stuff. Just type in Jamie uh, or Abrams old jazz, and I believe he has it set up in PDF format. So much good stuff in that book. But anyway. These are different qualities of scales. This is from Jamie's scale syllabus. Uh, one way is this right here. Look at each interval. Whole step, whole step, half, whole step, whole step, whole step, half. That's how you build a major scale. You build a Dorian scale. We're down here. Build a Dorian scale, a minor scale, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half, whole. All right, that's a method. Knowing the construction of each interval within a scale. That's a good way to do it. It works for, you know, just apply it to any key and it works fine. The, um, uh, I don't use that too much when I'm playing because you really need to know the construction of every chord by whole and half steps. And um, personally, I'd rather not learn all that because what I need to do is get to the scale so I can create. But this is a method and um, it's good to know that this uh, this exists and it might work for someone who was trained this way or you started off this way and you can certainly apply it. Some people think this way. It's great. All right. Here's another method. Let me, uh, no, not that, but this right here. Okay, this is the major scale. Let me adjust this, try and get a little more light on it. See if that works a little better. All right. I'm working with uh, Martin Scorsese here to get the best uh, scale viewing. All right, so this is the C major scale, and uh, these are the modes off the major scale. So if uh, I know my major scale, I really know, or I really have under my fingers, these seven modes. And what's nice about this method is if you know all your scales, all your major scales in all keys, then you could put a time seven next to that because within a major scale you have seven different modes that will handle seven different tonalities and each mode has a has its own set of characteristics that really work nice for for composition but in terms of playing if you can finger all the major scales then you really have all this stuff under your fingers already and uh, you would just need to equate the quality of the chord with the step in the scale Half diminished, or Locrian, means seven. That would be like an address. Okay, if we say B7, well, B would be, I mean, B half diminished, B would be the seventh step of C. Uh, if you see F Lydian, or F major seven plus 11, well, that quality, that Lydian, that major seven with a plus four, or plus 11, that equals the fourth step. So the quality of the chord actually equals a step in the scale. That's what I mean by an address. And uh, if students come to me, what I will do is I will say, first thing, make sure you know all your major scales. And then we go ahead and we, we work with this concept. This is actually the way that I was introduced to it because when I started, my teacher had me play all my scales. And then once I realized how this worked, all of a sudden, it didn't become, uh, wasn't so hard. Uh, so this is kind of what worked for me. And, uh, and when I teach it, it works for most students, but, but not all. Some students don't, don't take to this. And here's another method. Okay. This method, here, let me get up here. This is uh, like a digital method. And what you do with this digital method is we look at, say, the major scale right one through eight and for a dominant scale you flat the seven this shows you what notes are flatted what notes would be sharp and um, 
what happens with minor, we would flat the third and we would flat the seventh, and so on. So with this particular method, everything is based off the major scale. So you start with a major scale, then everything that you would deal with in terms of how to find uh, the construction of a scale is based on what would get raised, what notes get raised, and what notes get flatted. So there you go, you have three different ways. You have this digital way, you have the modal way, and you have the whole step, half step construction way. Those are three ways to look at how scales are built. They all bring you to the same scale, and uh, some techniques work best uh, for certain people, and, and others work um, work better for other people. So what you need to do is uh, look at them all and see what works best for you, because the the ultimate goal is to get to the information so you can create. What you want to do is you want to see uh, a chord and know, boom, these are the notes. Get out of my face with all this thinking and all these techniques. Just get me to these notes so I can create. That's what we're going for. So, once again, all of this stuff is in, uh, is in Jamie's handy little jazz handbook, okay? And he, uh, I don't make any money for pushing this, even though, he, you know, he offered me millions, but, you know, I, I couldn't take it. You know, I'm just not that way. No, only kidding. But here you go. This thing is worth its weight in gold. Great, great.